To use the features shown in this video, you will need to use EverWeb 4.2 or higher for Mac OS or Microsoft Windows. EverWeb has a number of different ways in which you can incorporate video within your website's pages. Use the browser background setting in the Inspector Windows Page Settings tab to set a video background for your page's browser window. You can use one of EverWeb's four built-in widgets to add and customize video within your page. The video widget is used with MP4 files and also for legacy video formats such as WebM and OGG files. The YouTube widget is used for YouTube videos and the Vimeo widget for use with Vimeo videos. You can also embed videos within the Flexbox widget. In addition to EverWeb's own widgets, third-party video widgets are also available. The last way to add video to your website's pages is available if you are using EverWeb 4.2 or higher, using Video Fill. You can use this option on most objects on your page. Alternatively, you can drag and drop a video directly from its source location, such as your computer desktop or the cloud, onto your page. This will also create a video fill object. In this video, we will be looking at the video fill feature in more detail. Video fill can be applied to most objects, for example, a shape or text box. When used in this way, the object will change to become a video fill shape, replacing its original object type. Using video fill may give you more flexibility when adding video to your page. It may also allow more customization options than found in EverWeb's built-in video widgets. We recommend that you use whichever method best suits your design goals. To use video fill, simply add an object to your page, such as a shape or text box, then go to the Shape Options tab in the Inspector window. Click on the Fill Type drop-down menu, then select Video Fill from the available options. The selected object will become a Video Fill object. Once you have created your Video Fill object, link the object to a video file. To do this, use the Video Source drop-down menu. There are four options to choose from. External Video URL Local Video File, which is a video file stored within your project. YouTube Video File and Vimeo video file. Once you have chosen the video source and linked it appropriately, you can then customize the video fill. All of the video sources have options to loop the video, auto play the video, mute the video, show video controls, set the default volume level, and set the scroll speed of the video. If you are using either the external video URL or local video file as your video source, you have three additional options. The first option lets you scale the video to either Scale to fit Scale to fill Stretch or use the video at its original size. Choose the option that is most appropriate to your video. The second option is to add a thumbnail to your video. This is like having a cover image for the video that the user has to click on in order to view the video. Using a thumbnail image is also useful if your video is large and takes time to load on the page. The last option is Pause Other Videos on Play, which does exactly what it says. This is a useful option to choose when you have more than one video on the page. Using Video Fill is a very flexible way to add video to your pages. You can even use it as a background for objects, such as the Responsive Row widget.